Okay, so I'm doing this um, pattern right here that looks like roses. Uh, I'm going to put my white down first. I'm going to make sure my pencil is kind of sharp too so I can get into those fine lines. So anywhere I want this to show up, a lot of the shading is already there because there's so much black on this pattern, but we're still going to put some shading in there. Okay, I'll do it here too. All right, now I'm going to take the um, shading pencil, my 6B, and I'm going to go shade like in between each flower. Like it looks like it's farther away. Where they're kind of overlapping each other. I like the way this white looks on top of this brown paper. All right, so we're still putting in some shadows with the 6B pencil. Okay, now I'm going to take my tortillion or my shading stump and kind of soften that shadow out. You don't want to shade over the whole thing because you want those white highlights still in there. Okay, now I'm going to block in a light blue I'm going to make sure it's, now yours doesn't have to be blue, but like I said, you could practice the color you want to use on the brown paper because you don't know what it's going to look like until you try it. Um, I'm going to do that on both the brown and the white.
Okay, so once I have that done, I'm going to go back and put some white in there to do the highlights. Just kind of blend it into my blue. Okay, then I'm going to go through with my colorless pencil. Push the color into the paper and flatten out the texture. Okay. Alright, so that's how you do that pattern. I'll see y'all in the next fragment that I demonstrate.